Welcome to this overview of Alex Pop in June 2015. In this overview we're going to be taking a very quick look at the two current main versions of Alex Pup, which are Alex Pup Tar 1505 and Alex Pup 1506. Just as a reminder, LX Pup is a version of Puppy Linux with the LXDE desktop environment. So first of all we'll have a look at LX Pup Tar 1505 and the first thing that you notice is that the look and feel of LX Pup has changed since the 1502 version. The background has changed the icon set has changed to flat remix. This is an example of some of the um, icons in that set. Here's some, uh, another example. And the window borders have changed. If we go into the change appearance menu item and look at the window borders we'll see uh, that the uh, window borders come from the Windows 8 OB set and uh, the particular one chosen as the default is the default blue but there are lots of other window borders that can be chosen if you don't like this one. Okay let's have a look at LX Pup Tar 1505 specifics and the first thing to look at is the system information where we can see that LX Puptar 1505 uses the PAE enabled Linux kernel 31420 um, this is a long-term support version of Linux um, and uh, we can also see uh, that OpenSSL although in this version it's still called 101F it was actually uh, built in March of 2015 okay the next thing to look at is the software installation uh, aspects of LX Pup Tar. And if we go into the Puppy Package Manager, we can see that the repositories used are the Ubuntu Trusty repositories. Uh, that's because LX Pup Tar is based on Tar Pup, which is in its turn constructed out of Ubuntu Trusty Tar components. Also in the menu for LX Pup Tar there is Quick Pet Tar and this is a very useful little um, application which allows you to install uh, Tar Pup updates, allows you to change kernels, and it gives you access to a whole range of uh, pre-configured applications that will run on LX Pup Tar. So that's a very useful um, piece of software for uh, for installing new new software onto the system. Okay, the next thing to have a look at is the web browser. Um, the web browser in LX Pup Tar is Pale Moon. Uh, Pale Moon is a, a Mozilla-based uh, uh, browser, um, but is built slightly differently to Firefox, and um, is thought by some people to be be quicker and more efficient. The particular version of Pale Moon available in LX Pup Tar 1505 is version 2471. 
and then finally in this very quick look round LX Puptar we can see that the multimedia player uh, in this version is VLC um, the more traditional uh, media player in most puppies is M player uh, which we'll see later but in this version it's VLC okay so that completes this quick look at LX Pup Tar next we'll go on to have a look at LX Pup 1506 Okay, next we'll have a look at LX Pup 1506. And the first thing to notice is that it has the exact same look and feel uh, as far as the back, the default background is concerned. Um, as far as the icon set is confirmed, concerned, which is um, a flat remix and the window borders which um, just like LX Puptar are the Windows 8 OB window borders by default. So looking at the first difference between LX Pup and LX Puptar if we go into the Puppy Package Manager we can see that in this case the software repositories are the Slackware 14.1 uh, repositories and that's because LXPUP is based on Slacko and Slacko is constructed out of Slackware 14.1 components so if you add extra software onto LXPUP you're uh, installing uh, Slackware 14.1 um, versions of those extra software. LXPUP doesn't have the QuickPet application um, but it does have uh, an SFS manager which allows you to, to download some um, SFS versions of some popular software and it also has the uh, updates manager which allows you to update components of LXPUP that have already been uh, updated in, in Slackware. Uh, you'll notice here that OpenSSL is at version 101.0 and if we go and have a quick look in sysinfo we'll see that uh, that first of all uh, the kernel version for LXPUP is a much more recent version it's 404 PAE um, but also we can see that those those updates to OpenSSL to 1010, um, dated in fact 12th of June, are already incorporated into LXPUP 1506. Okay, so another difference between LXPUP and LXPUP TAR is the web browser that comes as default. The web browser in LXPUP is Firefox. And um, it's actually version 3801 ESR, which stands for Extended Support Release. So it's a fairly stable but fairly up to date version of Firefox. Whereas, of course, LXPUP TAR comes as default with Pale Moon. And then finally in this quick look at LXPUP 1506 uh, we can see that the uh, the media player 
is the more conventional M player rather than the VLC that's available in um, in LX Pup Tar. So which version of these two uh, flavours of LX Pup you choose uh, depends on uh, which back, um, which software repositories uh, you you want to access, uh, which um, web browser you prefer, and uh, maybe which uh, mechanisms are available for installing and updating new new software. But they're both. Uh, excellent versions of, of Puppy Linux and come with all the characteristics of Puppy Linux and both will do a fine job for you I'm sure. Okay I hope you've enjoyed this quick update and uh, that you will download LX Pup and will enjoy using it. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.